We continue our spring cab camp series, although it doesn't feel like spring. I'm just outside of Dunkirk, Ohio, and it's like 41 degrees. Our spring cab camp is brought to you by Precision Agri-Services Incorporated, your planner support specialist, providing after-hour support to fully equipped service trucks and a full line of parts. Visit precisionagriservices.com to learn more. Joining me is Shane Kellogg. Uh, Shane, we're, we're doing something we're not planning, but behind you, you've got part of an old planner. You're, you're refreshing uh, some strip till that you did. Tell me about the unit you're running. Uh, well, we bought a uh, white 85-24 model planner this winter, and my employees and myself, we stripped all the planner units down off of it and uh, put some Yetter strip freshener units on it. So we're currently going across strips that we made in the fall where we shot the P and K down in the strip, injected it in. We're just smoothing off the top so the planter unit rides nice and smooth. You got a gandy box on the top of it. Uh, you're not putting down any product right now, but you said you have this spring. You tried a couple different things in the box. Yeah, um, that's kind of why I latched on to this one because I wanted to play around with some uh, in row stuff in the spring. And uh, it's just one of, you know, we uh, laid down some dried poultry crumbles on a field. We done some strips with it to see uh, what it what it's going to do. And then we also tried some pelletized gypsum. And uh, I'm going to run some strips yet too also with some uh, ammonium sulfate. Um, just playing around. Nothing, nothing high rate or anything. We laid the other stuff down at about 50 pounds an acre. I uh, don't want to get anything too hot in the strip to hurt the seed or anything, but just seeing if there's any good yield bumps out there to be had. You've been involved in the Blanchard River demonstration farm now for five years. What's, what's been your takeaway? What's, what's that practice that you're finding really is making a difference in water quality, but maybe also making a difference agronomically for the farm? Um, we like the, the strip till and, and, and band in our driver in the strip. Um, uh, you know, we, we got into that because of uh, some of these programs and stuff, and we've really liked it. Um, we've changed rigs. We've built new rigs. Um, we've done a little bit of everything with it. You know, just keep tweaking it. Every year we do something a little different. Um, but, you know, we're, we're applying at least a third less dry fertilizer um now and you know so it's saving us a lot lot of money and then we're also seeing you know yield bumps from it because all that dry fur is right in the band and uh you know that the strips just hot with the fertilizer and you're putting it where you need it and you find that it's beneficial to go back in the spring and, and refreshing those strips up after the fall application well it just depends on what kind of winter you have um, a lot of times we'll get heavy rains in the winter and it'll, you know, um, if your ground has any roll in it at all, it'll, you know, start washing the strips out or they might sag a little bit, you know, depending on how your strips were built in the fall. So, you know, that was the goal behind this rig is to smooth them strips back up. So you guys are running a high-speed planter. Do you find that the row units ride smoother once you refresh them in the spring? Yeah, they do because, you know, we got narrow depth gauge wheels on. So, you know, the depth gauge, really, depth gauge wheels are really in the strip also. So, uh, yeah, it, it, uh, I think it rides a lot better. You know, we got all precision stuff on our, on our planter there, and you can tell by the good ride uh, – column there on the monitor that they ride a lot better well shane i appreciate you uh letting me join you via zoom in the in the cab and the spring cab cam is brought to you by precision agri services incorporated visit precisionagriservices.com for more shane again thank you very much and good luck yep thank you <laughs>